So you've got a ZD30 Patrol or Navara and it's leaking oil. A little bit of a bummer, but these things happen. Um, you've identified that it's coming from the top end of the engine, so I'm gonna say that it's one of three things. So these cars like to leak from the injector seals, the glow plug seals, and the valve cover gasket. So I'm gonna show you guys today how to get down to those three sets of gaskets and how to replace them. So we wanna start by removing our intercooler. We're gonna do that by undoing hose clamps over here. Pull our um, plugs and stuff out of the way. Um, we'll be able to lift the intercooler off then and then we'll be able to access what's underneath that. So we've removed the four bolts that hold our intercooler down and we've also undone the hose clamps to the pipes. Um, by doing the hose clamps instead of this little flange here, it means we don't have to replace this gasket. So now we've undone our little, uh, it's not technically a throttle body, but it's some sort of intake. Um, holds two butterflies, so one of them is the shutoff butterfly. This is what will help turn the engine off. Um, basically works the same way as a throttle body. It will just close and choke the engine, and that gives you a much smoother um, shut off when you turn the key off. So the other butterfly valve is to do with the EGR system and it will open and close depending on what the EGR is doing and that will sort of create a swirl that will mix the EGR um, in with your intake air. So we've undone both the hoses. So the long hose goes to the back valve and the short hose goes to the front valve. The front valve controls the main butterfly and the rear one is your EGR butterfly. So this is our intake here. You can see we've got a large butterfly on this side, right up close. This is what will shut off the engine. And on the other side, we've got a smaller butterfly. Um, and this is what works with the EGR. And you can see it needs a good clean. So I'm gonna drop this in the degreaser bath before I put it back on. So from where we are now, we can either go and do our injector seals or our glow plug seals. So we're going to move on to the glow plugs. Now these are an eight mil nut that secures the buzz bar down. Make sure you don't lose these nuts because they're very small. Um, and once we pull that buzz bar off, we're able to remove the glow plug seals. So we've got the four nuts off. Now we can pick up our buzz bar. Try not to bend it when you remove it. Then we can also take off the power supply and push that off to the side. So now we can remove our glow plug seals. These aren't done up very tight. Um, I think my booklet says about two Newton meters, which is not much at all. Um, but what you want to do is grab a flathead screwdriver and just push these seals um, anti-clockwise like you would a regular nut and that's going to twist that screw out. And that's our old glow plug seal. Um, now one thing you want to check is that they still have the metal um, spring there. So this spring is what retains the tension around the top of the glow plug. So it looks like, looks like that. Um, 
small circular spring that goes around the bottom of the seal on the glow plug. Um, make sure that's still on there because if it's not on there it means it's been through your engine um, which definitely isn't good. So now what I'm gonna do, give a quick clean around the top of the glow plugs before we put our new seals in. Any dirt, debris, oil, we want all of that gone. We want a nice clean surface to seal to. Um, now I'm not actually gonna pull my valve cover today because it doesn't look like I've got any leaks here, which is great. Um, if you were to, you would basically go from this point here. Once you've pulled the glow plug seals, um, I'd pull the valve cover off. You can remove it with the glow plug seals in, but I think it's a lot easier to do it with them out. Um, and you basically work your way around, undo all your bolts, lift the valve cover, put your new seal in, drop it back down. I can show you guys in the booklet um, what the torque specs and order is um, for those of you that are wanting to do it. So we've got our new seals here, um, these are Matsumo, I just got them off eBay, um, I think I've used these before on my Navara um, and they turned out fine. So the manual says that we need to lube these up with new engine oil, um, so I'm going to do exactly that. Apply a little bit of oil to the inner and the outer of the new seal. And just roll it around. Make sure there's a thin layer of oil all over it. Um, and there is a little bit of rubber right up in the top um, of the plastic there. Make sure you hit that as well. It's a, it's a thin um, black O-ring. You wanna make sure that that's got oil as well. And this is just to lubricate it as it seals. So we want to push down evenly, a little bit of a wiggle and in, and make sure that it's even. It's not, um, not going in crooked. And just twist as you push down. And you'll feel it bottom out on that um, upper O-ring. And so I'll do these seals to about as tight as I can get them um, with my bare hands. Which mind you isn't very easy because there's not much to grab onto there. And then just like when we undid them, get your screwdriver, put it into one of those notches and just give it just a little tap just to tighten him down all the way snug. Um, and that should be plenty. Okay guys, so I got all my glow plug seals in. Um, the camera did go flat somewhere through there, um, so I'm not sure how much you guys saw. So we are now gonna move on to the injector seals. This is a bit more tricky than doing the glow plug seals, um, and it is, it's a tight space. It is possible to do it without removing this intake manifold. It is also very tricky to do that, so I'm going to show you guys how I go about it. If you've got any tips for other people that are doing this, make sure to put it in the comments. Um, let's all help each other out and try and make this job as easy as it can be. So what I have here is a 17 millimeter flare nut spanner. This is good for brake lines. Um, we're going to slip that over our injector nut like so. I'm going to grab another spanner, lock him in the top there. That'll give us extra leverage to Right down on him. I just headbutt the bonnet. <laughs> These are done up pretty tight. Um, so just watch yourself. Make sure you're not gonna punch anything cause that's never fun. And I'm gonna make my way along and undo every single one of these 
injector lines, being a little more careful this time. Okay, so each of these lines is now loose. So I'm gonna go through and back them all the way off. Now, the taller your patrol is, the more difficult this will be. I'm on a milk crate, can be quite hard to reach, not just up over the, the guard, but also reach all the way into the engine bay. So I can't actually get the tripod in here, so I'm gonna to have to hold this as I show you guys. So excuse the wobbly camera. Um, so this here is our injector line. Um, you can see that's the nut pushed all the way back. And then you've got this little seal right here. You wanna get your favorite screwdriver, nice flat head, and pry that seal out, nice and even. Pull on both sides to wiggle him out. And once he's loose, you should be able to grab it, wiggle him around and pull backwards at the same time. Now, what you need to remember is your injector line is still in there, and that's what's gonna be pushing it back in. Um, so you need to try and push the injector line backwards um, without bending it, mind you. You can't kink these lines because they're hard lines, um, and they won't ever recover from being bent and kinked. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna bite the bullet and I'm gonna remove a bunch of this stuff here. Um, I need to get down the side of the engine here, remove some of the um, bracketry that holds the fuel lines in place so that we can pull them further backwards. Um, and to get down there, you've sorta of gotta get all this stuff out of your way. Um, and I think I might even have to remove um, part of the EGR system to get into there, um, which is quite a bit of a pain the only other way to do it is to bend the fuel lines and I'm not really keen on that because once again, if you kink them, it's really bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull off everything in my way here um, and then we'll get into the fuel lines. So I have got quite a lot of this stuff off the side. You can see I've taken off the EGR pipe um, and I've gotten quite a bit of access down here. Um, I also found that my bottom EGR pipe, um, its gasket was busted. So it's also been contributing to the mess down here. Um, but you can see I've got fuel lines just here if the camera will focus. So those are my fuel lines. They go to a bracket just there. All four of them join at a bracket there. I'm going to pop that bracket loose and it'll allow us to pull all four of those injector lines backwards um, and hopefully access those injector seals. Alrighty, so I've got all the injector lines undone. I've pulled the front two injector lines out. Um, when I say this part sucks, do not underestimate how awful that job is. Um, it, it really is not a fun, fun part to do. Um, but it's done, we can get our seals out now. Um, so hopefully I can show you guys what I've got. So we're in down there at the back of the injector pump. Those lines are off. I left the back two lines in there. And then if we come up here, you can see here's one of our seals. You just give him a wiggle and he's out. And we want to make sure that he's still got that spring there, just like on the glow plug seals. Make sure that the spring is still in there. Otherwise, uh, again, not, not good, but if it's, um, if it's not on there, it's probably long gone um, through your engine. So I probably wouldn't go digging for it because I don't think you'd find it. Another seal out. And if you look closely, that spring's almost come off. Um, you wanna make sure you do not lose those in the head. These are our new seals. Um, same brand as the glow plug seals. So here's one of our new seals. So we want to lube up the inside and the outside with engine oil. Um, no sealant on these. Um, and then push them in. You wanna push the fuel line back through them 
do up the fuel line and that's your seals in. Easier said than done. So now that this is lubed up, ready to go in, I'm gonna go down, put him back in the hole and just two thumbs push in and he clicked in quite nicely. So that is all of our injector seals in, which is bloody marvelous because that sucked. Um, I, don't, I don't remember it being this difficult on my Navara, but I suppose the Navara is quite a smaller car and a bit easier to reach into. This, this really sucks on patrols, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so now we're gonna hook up our injector lines and put everything back together. So we've got all our injector lines back on, tied together, and then up here, I've nipped them all up, so that's all our injector seals in. Um, and now we're ready to start reassembling the engine. So from here, I'm gonna start reattaching um, different parts of the EGR system and dipstick and whatnot, put it all back together, and then we'll get the car running again. So now we've got everything down here back on. Um, we're ready to get back onto the glow plugs. So we're going to grab our buzz bar here. It's a good idea to give it a clean while it's off. So now we're gonna put on our glow plug terminal here onto the first glow plug. And then we're gonna grab our buzz bar and put it onto each of the glow plugs there, just like that. And then grab all of the little nuts. I'm gonna do them up. And that's our glow plugs done now. So it's pretty well just reassemble what you've taken off. Um, it is smart to use new gaskets, but if you haven't got any on hand, just do what you gotta do. So now we're gonna reassemble the intake assembly. Um, so we've reattached our intercooler, all our intake pipes are nipped up tight um, and we've put this sensor back in. This is the manifold air pressure sensor. Um, so everything's back together now, we're all finished. Um, now seeing as we took the injectors off, we wanna prime our fuel with this pump over here. Um, so you just push down on that a couple of times um, and then expect it to not start straight away um, because you will have a little bit of air trapped in those lines. Um, so it might take a little extra crank to get it going, um, but this is it. So we'll see if it starts up and then we're finished.
Alrighty guys, so we're done. The patrol is running again. We're all finished. No more leaks or drips. Um, more importantly, if we need to do maintenance now, it's not going to be on a dirty, greasy engine. Um, so there's no more crud that's going to build up. Give it a good wash now that you're finished, or even better, give it a wash before you start. Um, if you guys have any tips or tricks for other people that need to do this, um, drop it in the comments. It's always good to get more advice. Um, and hopefully you guys found this video useful and can work through this step by step and do it yourselves. So I'll see you guys in the next one.